Music, film, visual arts, publishing, fashion. Africa's creative industries are one of the leading sectors across the continent, generating millions of jobs and expanding Africa's global influence. Coupled with the power of new technologies, the creative sector can nurture a culture of peace rooted in African values. But since 2020, the creative economy has been among the hardest hit by the COVID-19 pandemic. Virus restrictions caused the cancellation of countless events, cutting off revenues of artists, technicians, and companies. The pandemic also exposed some of the sector's shortcomings, such as the predominance of the informal economy and the lack of social safety nets for artists and cultural entrepreneurs. Meanwhile, the pandemic has highlighted the positive contribution of artists in times of crisis. In 2020, UNESCO's Don't Go Viral campaign involved top artists from across Africa to save lives and counter misinformation about the virus. The campaign is still expanding, generating millions of views with the participation of famous singers such as Pam Luster from Burkina Faso and Yusun Ndour from Senegal. As a source of youth employment, crisis adaptation, and peace building, the creative sector needs greater attention from political leaders. African cultures harbor values of peace, community-based dialogue, conflict resolution systems, and collective celebrations form an integral part of Africa's heritage. For instance, the countries of East, Central, and Southern Africa share a cultural worldview known as Ubuntu. This notion of Ubuntu sheds light on the importance of peacemaking through the principles of reciprocity and forgiveness. As a source of shared identity and collective memory, cultural heritage contributes in multiple other ways to peace across the continent. For example, the island of Gore in Senegal is an invaluable site that bears witness to one of humanity's greatest tragedies, the Atlantic slave trade. As such, the protection and promotion of this heritage helps to address the collective trauma shared by Africans and the diasporas. Passing on this heritage also contributes to peace education and to the ideas of reconciliation and forgiveness. Other facets of African heritage can be important vectors of dialogue and peace. For example, when coupled with the teaching of African history, the return of looted heritage objects can help redress past injustices while offering African societies an opportunity to celebrate their shared history. How can the creative sector better adapt to and recover from the COVID-19 pandemic? How can we enhance the creative sector's contribution to peace across the continent? How can Africa further unleash the potential of its heritage for dialogue and peace?